In this video, I'm gonna be going through the naked neck chicken breed. And stay tuned till the end because I'll go through their egg laying capabilities and their meat capabilities and also their overall hardiness. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. The naked neck or turkin is the ugly duckling of the flock. At first, you might notice is her nakedness, large looking head and scant coif of feathers adorning her large looking head. You may even think there's something wrong with her. Typically, if one of your chickens has feather loss, you spring into a assessment mode to attempt to figure out the underlying cause. Is she molting? Is she sick or full of mites? However, this eclectic breed of chicken naturally has 50% fewer feathers than most standard chickens. So rest easy, there's nothing wrong with her. The naked neck, otherwise known as the Turkin or Transylvanian naked neck, originates from Romania and even more specifically Transylvania. So if you wanna add a little strange to your backyard flock, then the naked neck is going to be your next chicken. Don't let their bizarre feathering turn you off because this chicken has plenty to offer a loving chicken tender. No pun intended. Well, maybe. Originally, people believed that the naked neck chicken was a cross between a turkey and a chicken. To this day, some people are still under the impression that the turkin or turkey is a hybrid of the two species. However, it is biologically impossible for a chicken to breed with a turkey. So while this is, hypothesis has some visual merit, it is completely untrue. The naked neck is 100% chicken and always has been. So before judging this bizarre looking bird, let's go through some of the hidden benefits and find out how this ugly duckling turns out to be one amazing chicken. So let's get into the appearance. True to its name, as you can see, the naked neck's most prominent physical characteristic is its naked neck. Its chicken's genetic makeup somehow decided that there would be no feathers on its bright red neck. However, the naked neck still sports a dashing hair piece atop its head in the form of a few sparse feathers. The naked neck lacks feathers in another more private place as well, the bum. This breed is naked on the neck and near the vent, so don't be embarrassed when you see the baboon like behind of your naked neck. They know their backside is showing and they don't seem to really care. To top it off, their uniqueness, their tail feathers are held fairly high and appear to fan out with a look at me kind of flare. The standard colors of the naked neck are black, white, red, and buff, all of which are recognized by the APA. In other countries, you can find cuckoo, which is thought to be the original color, and blue naked necks. The naked neck has a single comb that can be susceptible to frostbite. However, it sits atop a large looking head amongst a small nest of feathers. It should be noted that many believe the naked neck to be immune to many chicken diseases or at least more resilient than their featherful counterparts. Whether this is true or not, has yet to be tested. The naked neck is a large standard chicken and comes in bantam size as well. At maturity, the chickens weigh in around seven pounds, making it a surprisingly suitable meat chicken. While their featherlessness makes the naked neck appear to be a scrawnier type of chicken, they are actually considered a dual purpose chicken due to their ability to use protein they ingest for energy toward meat building rather than feather building. So now let's get into those two areas. But before I do, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also subscribe to our website thehappychickengroup.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, the eggs. As an average layer, the naked neck chicken can provide their human families with approximately three eggs per week. So while they're not considered to be prolific layers, they are considered to lay an average amount of medium light brown eggs throughout the entire year, just enough for holiday baking. And now let's get into the meat. You heard me mention that they grow to about seven pounds. This is where they truly rise above the flock and yield. This chicken, again, like I said, is considered to be dual purpose because of the meat. In fact, the naked neck is a heftier bird due to the fact that its energy is not used up by feather production and it can be used to keep the weight on. Farmers without automatic pluckers enjoy raising the naked neck because there's fewer feathers to pluck out. Thus, butchering can be completed much quicker than if raising other meat chickens. Now let's get into the hardiness. Now, you would think that the naked neck wouldn't do very well in cold climates due to their breezy bottoms and necks. However, they're actually quite cold hardy. As long as they are given appropriate shelter and insulation for a cold winter, they will do just as well as the rest of your flock. Since the naked neck is already half naked compared to other chickens, they do extremely well in hot weather. While your fluffier chickens may pant and search for shade, your naked necks will be going about business as usual. And now let's get into free ranging. They love to forage and happily seek out the best vegetation and forage in your yard. In fact, this breed actually prefers to be free ranged and forage for their food. And if given the choice, they will set out on a day long peck fest amongst your gardens. The downside to this unique breed is their inability to take 
take flight, period. The naked neck is simply too stocky and has too few feathers to be able to support any proper flight whatsoever. This makes the bird easy prey, especially if they are free range. Some chickens are able to fly short distances, but the naked neck has to rely on its little legs while fleeing from danger. And lastly, let's get into the temperament. Unlike some family oriented breeds, naked neck hens don't go broody frequently. In fact, most naked necks don't care to raise their own chicks. So if you plan to keep producing this quirky bird year after year, plan on investing in an incubator to do the job. The naked neck is considered to be an extremely docile and friendly chicken. So even if you are repulsed by the flack of feathers, you'll probably find their personalities simply irresistible. This quirky chicken is a misunderstood breed that needs to have the record set straight. Naked necks are a friendly dual purpose chicken that looks a little different than the rest of the flock. When it comes down to it, they are a unique conversation starter that is happy to provide eggs and pest control for your family. If you like this video, please be sure to check out this one over here. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you like the video, like the video and subscribe to the channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.